Mr. Johnson. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I appreciate our panelists being with us today. Chairman Rosen Warsaw and uh, the rest of the commission, good to see all of you. Um, the committee uh, has passed my legislation, the Alert Parity Act, to formalize the way the FCC licenses supplemental coverage from space when providing emergency alerts and 911 service. While there have been several partnerships announced that seek waivers of the FCC's rules for more advanced services, this burgeoning topic also raises several interesting questions about spectrum use. One such question pertains to the geographic areas required to offer supplemental coverage from space. I want to make sure that whatever the FCC does, my constituents in rural Eastern and Ohio are not left out because rural carriers don't have the spectrum over the entire U.S. So first question, uh, Chairwoman, would the FCC's proposed supplemental coverage from space rules exclude smaller carriers from bringing these services to the rural communities they serve? The short answer is no, but the longer answer is this. As we try to combine terrestrial services and satellite services, we're going to have to deal with a lot of potential interference issues. That's why our lead proposal in our rulemaking on the single network future focuses on spectrum where a single carrier holds all co-channel licenses in an area. Okay. But we I'm also proposed ideas for how other carriers could work together to help avoid that interference and participate in this growing okay. area of spectrum. All right. so, so will you commit to working with our committee to ensure that the FCC's actions in this space are not unnecessarily rushed and that they strike the appropriate balance of encouraging innovation while also providing certainty? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, Chairwoman Ro uh, Rosen Worsell again, one area of geopolitical competition with China is in the space sector. Similar to how China has sought to leverage their terrestrial telecommunications infrastructure, they're also working to build out uh, satellite broadband to directly compete with the United States. Regulatory certainty is something that would help to ensure that U.S. maintains its lead in this critical sector. For instance, right now there are applications uh, that sit for months at the FCC before any action is taken. If we want to continue to be the global leader on technologies like satellite internet, I strongly believe we need to move much faster. Can you explain to us why the FCC has not been putting out applications for comment on a more timely basis? I agree. When I came to the agency, I noticed that we had a tremendous amount of satellite applications before us. I reorganized the agency, created a space bureau. I increased those who review those applications by 50%. And we set up a rulemaking to try to identify what criteria are necessary so that we could put them all out on public notice faster. So we are in the process of streamlining this, and I think we're on the way to being successful at okay. doing that. Um, well, you've answered my other question. So I, I think with that, I'm going to yield back a entire one the gentleman yields. 27 seconds. The chair now recognizes the gentlelady from Arizona. Ms. Lesko. Uh, 